Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel of Design. Today we are making a very beautiful dress with a step-by-step -step tutorial. I use African wax print for the waistband and I also make a belt right here. You can decide to make a belt, you can decide not to. And I also add African wax print at the bottom edge of this dress making. The skirt is the full circle skirt. This is how it is once you have done making your own dress in a sleeve. If you don't know how to make a basic sleeve, I will put the link on my description box below so that you can go and watch the video. You can make this dress for your kids when they are 12, 13, 14, 15. It doesn't matter what age. You can also use the same method to make for adult please support us by subscribing thumbs up on our video make a comment down below if you have any question if our tutorial have helped you in any way thumbs up if you're a new beginner i will recommend that you try this if you have been making this dress i also recommend that you try this step out please follow us on our facebook instagram TikTok, pinterest in all our social media please do follow us and I want to also use this opportunity to mention that I also make handmade so for your natural beauty skin. Please follow us on edo.beauty. This is how the dress is and let's get started. Have to do grab your pattern paper that we have adjusted before i have shown you guys how i adjust this pattern paper if you have not watched that video i'll put the link on my description box below so that you can watch the video so what i'm going to do i am going to pin my pattern paper on my fabric add my seam allowance and i will start cutting it out i have pinned my pattern paper on my fabric and i've add all my seam allowance on the fabric I add one centimeter seam allowance at the neckline, shoulder, armhole, side seam. For the bottom edge, I add 0 0.5 inches or 1.3 centimeter. I also did the same thing for the back. So what I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and cut it out. And then once I am done cutting, I will place my main fabric on my lining and use it to cut my lining remember to also cut your sleeve i have already cut my sleeve i am not going to line in my sleeve so go ahead and start cutting out your fabric first thing that you have to do you take your bodies I have placed my dart on my bodies. What you're going to do, put them together like this. Take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. And also put the other side of the dart together. Take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. And you will take the back, put them together. Make sure you pin it in place. Take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. Repeat the same process with the back bodies. Take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. This is my May fabric. And you also take your lining. You are also going to repeat the same process. Both the front and the both back. Take it to your sewing machine and stitch the dart together. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, you take your sleeve. You're going to put them together like this. Make sure that front fabric you fold it into two, you take it to your sewing machine and stitch it all the way down, stitch with your seam allowance. You take the other sleeve, put them together, take it to your sewing machine and stitch the side seam together. Stitch it with your seam allowance. Once you have done that, you can overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. Go ahead and top stitch. I have stitched my dart. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to put the both shoulder seam of your top dress together. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. What you are going to do, you are going to stitch the shoulder seam. And you will take your lining. You're going to repeat the same process. And then you place the back on top of it. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. You are going to stitch the shoulder seam. Take it to your sewing machine. Stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done that, you take your sleeve. 
I take my sleeve to my ironing board, I fold inside one inch and then I fold it again all over to cover the raw edges. You can see how I fold it inside, take it to your sewing machine, you go ahead and hem your sleeve all around. Once you have done that, set your sewing machine to the longest stitch, you are going to stitch a gather stitch thread on top of your sleeve. And you also repeat the same process with the second sleeve. Once you have done stitching your sleeve together, the next thing that you have to do, you take your African wax print. This dressmaker, I'm going to attach African wax print at the bottom edge of our skirt. So this is my skirt. It's a full circle skirt. And I will take the length of my skirt because the length of my skirt is shorter. The length of my skirt is 14 and a half inches. If you are using centimeter, I'm going to take a measurement of 37 centimeter. So if I'm making a dress for 13 or older child, so you have to make sure that your skirt length is more longer than the one that I have here. So what I'm going to do, I am going to attach the African wasp print at the bottom edge of my circle skirt. To get the width of your fabric, what you are going to do, you take the total width of your full circle skirt, that is the bottom edge. You then the measurement that you get, you can times that by 2 or 1.5. That is how I get the width of my African wax spring that I'm going to gather on my skirt. And the length of my fabric is 15 inch. If you are using centimeter, you are going to measure 38 centimeter so what i'm going to do i am going to take my fabric to my sewing machine at the top edge i'm going to first of all hem the fabric all around once i am done hemming the fabric then i will set my sewing machine to the longest stitch i'm going to stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of the fabric because i want the fabric to be a little bit of ruffles at the top of the fabric so go ahead and stitch that together and for this dressmaking i'm going to also attach a waistband on our top dress the length of my waistband is two inch or five centimeter you can decide to attach a waistband or you can decide not to so for me i'm going to attach a waistband if you're taking your measurement make sure that you fold your fabric into two and you take two inch or five centimeter so go ahead and stitch them together I have stitched the shoulder seam this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you are going to place your lining on top of it I have also stitched my lining shoulder seam so I'm just placing my lining on top of my May fabric all around what you are going to do you take it to your sewing machine stitch it all around before you start stitching make sure that you measure your seam allowance inside my seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric measure inside continue stitching from there all the way around and you end on the other side once you have done stitching take your scissors trim a little bit out from your seam allowance and snip around the curved edge to release the tension once you have done that push the seam allowance towards the lining and on the stitch the neckline once you have done that take it to your ironing board and give it a nice good press i have stitched around the neckline and I have also on the stitch around the neckline. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to put the side seam of the top dress together. So you pick your dress like this, put the side seam together, make fabric together, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. And you come down to the other side seam, make fabric together, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. And you pick your lining like this both lining together take the side seam to your sewing machine and top stitch and you repeat the same process on the other side seam put the side seam together take it to your sewing machine and top stitch once you have done that take it to your ironing board and press the seam apart
I have stitched the side seam together. This is how it is. And I've also stitched the other side seam together. This is how it is. I also give it a stitch around the armhole so that I know that both line and main fabric are in a very perfect position. So the next thing that we have to do, we are going to attach our sleeve on the armhole. So what you're going to do, you're going to turn your dress. This is the inside of my top dress. And you put your sleeve together, take a, a scissors and notch the mid part like this. Make sure that the front armhole is facing the front top dress. So this is the front armhole and I also give it a notch right there. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put it inside. Before I put it inside, you can see that my sleeve is torn inside out. So this is the front of my sleeve so i will put it inside like this i'll pick the side seam of the sleeve and the side seam of my top dress i'll put them together and make sure that both seam are matched and i will secure that with a pin and i will pick the sleeve and this is the shoulder seam put them together make sure that both are matched so what i'm going to do i am going to start pinning to some point before i will gather the sleeve what i'm going to do i will pick my gather stitch thread so you just go ahead and pick your gather stitch thread like this and you pull your sleeve just a tiny little bit and make sure that you didn't pull it so much if you pull it a little bit more you can always adjust it you can see my gather is very very tiny so i will go ahead and continue pinning once i am done pinning and i will repeat the same process with the other sleeve once you have gathered your sleeve and you pin it all around take it to your sewing machine and top stitch once you have done stitching remove the gather stitch thread take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges I have stitched my sleeve together this is how it looks you can see how beautiful that is for the sleeve head you can see that we just give a little bit of gather not so much and also on the other side just a little bit of gather not so much and i take it to my overlocker sewing machine i overlock all the raw edges if you don't have overlocker you can also use zigzag to overlock the raw edges the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch our waistband on this dressmaking so what you're going to do you fold your fabric into two and you just place it at the waist line of your dressmaking you go ahead and start pinning the waistband on the waistline of your top dressmaking once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine and top stitch i have stitched the waistband on the waistline this is how it is once you have done that the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch our skirt so what you are going to do before you stitch your skirt put the both waistline together take your scissors and notch the mid part and you also repeat the same process with your skirt once you have done that you pick your skirt Put the both notch together and secure that with a pin. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. Once you have pinned them together, you go ahead and pin the center back of your dress making. Once you have pinned both center back together, all you have to do is just continue pinning your skirt around the waistline of your top dress. Once you have pinned them together, also repeat the same process with your lining i have pinned my lining skirt and my male fabric together when you are pinning your skirt on your top dress make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you also repeat the same process with your male fabric both front fabric are facing each other once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine top stitch with your seam allowance my seam allowance is half an inch or 1.3 centimeter once you have done stitching Take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. For the center back, make sure you overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. You also repeat the same process with your main fabric. Overlock the both center back raw edges. I 
have stitched my skirt at the waistline this is how it is you take it to your overlocker you overlock the raw edges the next thing that you have to do you are going to stitch your invisible zipper at the center back before you stitch your invisible zipper at the center back place your measuring tape at the neckline measure all the way down where you want your zipper to end i have done that and you also come down to this other side measure all the way down where you want to your zipper to end i have done that once you have done that measure your seam allowance inside i have also measured my seam allowance inside these are all the mark right here once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you are going to stitch your zipper at the center back pin your zipper at the center back of your dressmaking once you have done pinning what i usually do i always thread my needle down and then use hand stitch to stitch the zipper together once i am done with that i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch i have stitched my invisible zipper at the center back and i have also used my lining to cover the raw edges this is how it will look once you have done stitching your center back together the next thing that we have to do we are going to finish closing the center back of our dressmaking put them together like this you top stitch you also take your lining put them together like this and you top stitch once you have done that use that opportunity to hem your skirt i will fold it inside i will first top stitch it all the way around and then i will fold it over again and you top stitch it for the second time and you also repeat the same process with your lining I have hemmed my skirt you can see how beautiful that is once you have hemmed your skirt if you don't want to gather any fabric at the bottom edge of your skirt all you have to do make sure that your skirt length is longer than the one that i have measured if you want to gather a, uh, another fabric at the bottom edge of your skirt so you have to do it this way the way I, i'm showing you right now before you gather it on your skirt make sure you take a measurement from the bottom edge where you hem you take a measurement of two centimeter or 0 0.75 inch once you have measured that make sure you measure it all around the bottom edge of your skirt and you start pulling your fabric that is your gathered fabric you start pulling it and you start pinning it at the bottom edge of your circle skirt so when you are pinning it at the bottom edge of your circle skirt make sure that you the edges of the fabric is at the edge of your measurement is not more than that is just at the right edge of your measurement you go ahead and pin it all around the skirt once you have done that take it to your sewing machine and top stitch you can see that i've already gathered this side because it takes a lot of time to gather it and pin it all around and top stitch so i just got out one side i haven't got out this side so that i can explain to you guys how you can gather your skirts all you have to do pinning all around you can see that pinning all around take it to your sewing machine and top stitch once you have done stitching remove your gather stitch thread and you can also use that opportunity to hem the fabric all around i have already hemmed my fabric once you have done that your dress is finally ready this is the final look of our dress it's a beautiful dress to make this is my raffle fabric that i add on the skirt you can see how that is so so beautiful you can see how the skirt fall very very nicely and i use that opportunity and i stitch your belt on the waist you can decide to stitch your belt you can decide not to you can see how i stitch my bed you just start a little kind of beautiful bow at the side of your dressmaking i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learn one or two things from this video and have a wonderful wonderful day bye